everyone welcome to coding decoded my name is sanjit today i am working as technical architect at the 4 at adobe and here i present weekly code test 302 the problem that i have chosen is query ks smallest rem number it's a medium level question on lead code and i also feel the same also the description of the problem is very complicated i'll be walking you through the example in order to understand the question and then we will be iterating towards developing the algorithm also in case if you are interested in understanding the solutions to rest of the problems of the weekly contest 302 all of them are stated in the description so do check them out without further ado let's quickly hop on to the ppt and let's try and understand the question first query ks smallest rem number lead code 2343 it's a medium level question or in case if you have any doubt understanding this one or if you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below now let's try and understand the question with the same example that was specified we have the nums are as 102473251814 and let me just write the indexes at which these elements occur so this occurs at 0 this occurs at 1 this occurs at 2 and this occurs at 3 Now let's try the uh, and understand the second aspect of the question, which is the queries array. Each queries array have a query value with it, and each query value has two parts to it. The first one is a ks smallest. I'll explain this in some time, and the next one is trim. So trim holds the value one. So that simply means that the number of digits starting from the rightmost digit that should be considered while sorting the elements up is one. So let's extract the first digit because the value here is one. Out of all the numbers that we have, starting from the rightmost position, so the first number that comes into consideration is two. The next number that comes into consideration is three. The next number that comes into consideration is one, and the next number that consider comes into consideration is four. So on the basis of these numbers, we need to sort those elements up. So after performing the sorting operation, how will these numbers be aligned? It would be something like this. The first element that we'll have is two fifty one because one is the lowest of all. Next we'll have one zero two. Next we'll have four seventy three. Next we'll have eight four one. Why have we sorted in this manner? Because we have only considered the rightmost digit while sorting these elements up. And now we need to look at the kth smallest number. So what is the kth smallest number? K the value of k is kth smallest is one. That means we are interested in looking out for. the first smallest number the first smallest number is 251 and it occurs at what index it occurs at the second index so the answer corresponding to this query turns out to be 2 this is the crux of the problem and let's try and understand it over few more examples had it been the case uh, here uh, instead of 1 it would have been 2 what would have we returned it would let's assume it would have been 2 comma 1 as part of the query what would have we would have returned the second element is 102 at what occur index does it occur it occur it occurs at zero is index so the answer corresponding to this one would have been zero let's proceed ahead and let's try and understand few more queries so uh, before jumping on to this one let's try and understand these two first uh, here the trim value is 2 that means we need to consider two digits starting from the rightmost one so when we need, when what uh, two digits should be considered as part of 102 02 should be considered as part of 473 73 should be considered as part of 251 51 should be considered and as part of 814 14 should be considered while sorting those elements up now let's perform the sorting operation and once we will sort those elements up how these el numbers would be aligned let's do that the first value would be 02 after the sorting operation because 02 is least of 02 73 51 and 14 so let's write 02 over here and the actual element is 102 obviously and the next element would be 814 so 814 comes as the second one and the part considered is 14 next one would be 251 the part considered is 51 the next would be 473 the part considered is 73 and the question asks us to return the second the fourth smallest element what is the fourth smallest element the fourth smallest element is this one at what index does it occur in your original array it occurs at the first index so the answer corresponding to this query would turn out to be 1 similarly let's look at the next query as itself we have 1 comma 2 so uh, we have appropriately sorted these elements up on the basis of uh, rightmost two digits and we are interested in looking out for the smallest element because the value of k smallest is 1 and the smallest element is 102 at what occur index as it occur it occurs at the zeroth index so the answer corresponding to this query 
turns out to be zero. And now let's look at the last query that we have to operate upon, which is two comma three. This one. Let me just change the color of pen. And uh, the value of trim here is three. That means we need to consider all the three digits together. So when we have to consider all the three digits together, we have the numbers as one zero two four seventy three two fifty one eight one four. We need to sort those elements up. When we will do the sorting operation, how these would be aligned? We'll have one zero two. We'll have two fifty one, and we'll have four seventy three. Then we'll have eight one four. And if I ask you guys, what is the second smallest element out of all of them? The second smallest is two fifty one. At what index does it occur in your original array? It occurs at the second index. So the answer corresponding to this query turns out to be two. So the final answer is something like this: two, two, one, zero, which is sync, which is in sync with the expectation that we had. Now comes the concern: how can we solve this up? So we will be using maps to come up with the approach. Here I have created a map wherein the key of the map is equal to the possible trim values that could could be there, and it would be equal to nothing but starting from one up till the length of numbers that we have. In this case, it is three. So we'll have possible trim values as one, two, and three. And the value in the map corresponds to list of pair. Each pair will have two attributes in it. The substring that we that is considered while sorting these elements up, and the second index, second val, second part is index. At which this number occurs in the original array. So let's run build this map first. So the first value of trim that we will be considering is one, and let's iterate over the nums array. Let's extract uh, the first substring from the first number that was one zero two. So corresponding to trim value one, let's create the pairs that exist in out of my nums array, and the first pair would be equal to two comma zero, because The value that is considered right now is this one, and it occurs at zeroth index. The second pair would be equal to three comma one. The value that is considered out of four seventy three is three, and it occurs at the first index. The next one is two fifty one. So the value that is considered is one, and it occurs at the second index. Let's proceed ahead. Next is eight one four. The value that is considered is four, and it occurs at the third index. Let's proceed ahead. Next, I'm gonna build up for the trim value two. So let's do that. The value that is considered would be zero two, and it occurs at the zeroth index. So actually, it's two. The value that would be considered is seventy three, and it occurs at the first index. The value that is considered is fifty one. It occurs at the second index. The value that is considered is fourteen. It occurs at third index. Let's proceed ahead and do it for the trim value equal to three. So the value that is considered is one zero two. It occurs at zero index. The next one is four seventy three. It occurs at first index. The next value is two fifty one. It occurs at Second index. The next value is eight one four. It occurs at third index. Now, what we will be doing will be sorting these elements up internally. So let's sort those up. And once we are done with the sorting operation, our work is done. So we need to write the comparator appropriately, which is basically sorting these elements up. On the basis of the first element, which is which represents the value. So when we will sort those elements up. This will come at the lowest position, and this will come at the highest position. So we'll have something like this: one comma two at the zeroth index. Next we'll have two comma zero at the first index. Next we'll have three comma one. Next we'll have four comma three. And now, if someone asks us the result for trim of one comma one, what do we do? We extract those pairs, list of pairs that exist in my map corresponding to the trim value one, and those pairs are one, two, two, zero, three, one, four, three, and we need to identify the kth smallest element in after the sorting operation is done. So the kth smallest element would be this one, one comma two, 
and this l this number occurs at the second index and this is what we need to return so you need to do the same kind of thing across all the queries and this will give you the answer now let's quickly move on to the coding section and we'll exactly do all these the same steps as i have just talked here so here i've created a pair class and this has two parts in it the first one is the string which represents the number and the second one is the index at which uh then this number occurs in the original array before the sorting operation and here this is a simple constructor uh, moving ahead what have i done uh, i have done pre processing over my number nums array and i have appropriately built my map with integer comma list of pair values once i have done this what do i do so let me just comment this up this is for uh, showing how it is internally happening i have created the answer variable and i iterate over the queries part i extract uh, the entries from my map corresponding to the query uh, and here the key would be would be trim value and trim value is extracted from query dot 1 i have those i've got those list of pairs i perform the sorting operation on them and once the sorting operation is done i extract list dot get kth element minus 1 dot index so this is really important i set it to my answer variable at the idx index and with each iteration it is getting incrementing and once i have once i have appropriately built in my answer array i simply return that up so let's try and submit it accepted with this we have successfully completed all the four questions and this is the end of the contest i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more update from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question goodbye